Imagine you have two lists of people, one of customers from whom you are supposed to receive the money, the other from where you can see how many people have paid back to you. Now you want to reconcile and see what is the net amount due or if there is any advance that you have received. But the challenge is the spellings of the lists name are not the same and because of which you can't apply VLOOKUP or index match formula to reconcile them. So we will see in this video how to use Excel's Power Queries Fuzzy Merge using full outer join to get an automated reconciliation. This is not for beginners, but if you have faced this challenge, you must watch the video full and let me know whether it makes sense. In this video, I will show you one use case or an application of Excel's Power Queries Merge Queries concept using fuzzy matching and that too with fill out a join. Now these topics are such that one can take an hour or even two to explain the inner or full concepts of these ideas. However, I will take a small example to give you a use case. When you have two data sets where the spellings are not matching, see S. Wilson Australia Inc. versus Sam Wilson Australia, you can't use VLOOKUP or index match formula to get them to match. It's very similar to saying that I have two names Raji with double E and Raji with single I. Now I'll be showing you that how to use this concept inside Excel's Power Query to get two lists to match. Now before I begin I must tell you that people are using different versions of Excel. If you're using Excel 2007 you can download Power BI Desktop to enact the same practice through this button called transform data. Why? Because in Excel 2007, you cannot have power query under any circumstances. And that is why if you wish to practice, you can download the file from the description below and use Power BI Desktop because Power BI Desktop's transform data button is exactly same as Excel's Power Query Editor. Next, if you're using 2010 and 13, you can go to Google and say download Power Query. Microsoft will give you an add-in to download, which is free of cost. And then you can have a tab inside your Excel and that is going to work as a Power Query Editor. Next, if you are using 2016 and above, then you do not need to worry, no nothing to download. You can simply go to the data tab and look for this transform data section. So with this basic information, let's proceed. I have given you two sheets. One is called client name and amount due. And there's another sheet called customer name and amount due. Now you can do this reconciliation in the same workbook or you can open a new workbook. Either ways, I'll show you quickly both the options. If you're opening a new workbook, let's say control N, you can go to data tab, go to get data and say from Excel, from Excel workbook. This way you can access that other workbook, which is open in the background, or you can choose this data and say data tab and use this button which says that the file which is open, the data that has been selected, use that to import that into Power Query Editor. So let me do one thing. Let me show you in a different file this time. It's an untitled file called book one and I'm going to go to get data from file from Excel workbook. Now I see this browse button, I'll control V and paste the exact path where this is saved. So I'll click on open and pick up this file called fuzzy merge customer matching. Now the window will tell me, look, there are multiple sheets in this file. Which one would you like to import? So select multiple items and the one which is called due and the one which is called paid, I'll import both of these data. Now I'm going to click on transform data because this directly takes me to power query editor. Now, if by chance you could not click on the transform data and you clicked on load, you can still go to power query editor by launching power query editor from this get data button. For now, let me continue. Now, first I'll quickly clean up the data, which I don't need. For example, this column, I don't need it. So I may as well remove this. Now the data that I have is amount due and the second one is called amount paid. So using the due as a benchmark or starting point, I go to home tab. I click on merge queries as new. And then I will be asked to choose two table. One is called due and the other one is going to be called as paid. The common thing between the two is customer and client name. The headings can be different, but the essence is same. Now, clearly there will be zero matches or maybe maximum one or two matches. Why? Because a lot of times these spellings are not same. The Mesur Paper Mills Limited and Mesur Mill Paper. So what I would do is use fuzzy matching. But before even going there, let me choose the correct join. I'll be using full outer join because it says all rows from both. 
meaning there can be a scenario where there are some names only in table 1 they have not even paid a single dollar back to me and there are some amounts or names which are paid in advance and they do not find mention in the first table so there could be some names which are exclusive to one table and that is why i am using full outer that means do not leave out any names whether they have paid in advance or their amount is still due to be paid to me with that i will choose use fuzzy matching and let's open up the options to see what it contains now the first important thing you see is similarity threshold now what does this mean the range of this number given here is 0 and 1 so you cannot have a number like 100 okay now what does this mean one means exact match spelling wise they should be exactly same now that's not the case here so i'll have to reduce that to around 0.65 or 0.7 and this indicates the strictness level in technical terms the tolerance level how strict are you going to be when you are trying to match these two names? So generally we start with 0.65 and 0.7. Now you must also ignore the case because Power Query Editor is case sensitive. So if in one table the name is in capital and in the other table the name is in small cases, I would still want them to be matched. Now. I know you might be asking Rishabh, what is this fuzzy working in the background? Well, there's a whole lot of concept called Jacquard's index. You can Google, but you don't need to get into that depth right now. With this, I will continue to just keep all the default values on. No need to worry about all these options right away. Maybe in some other video, I'll talk about them. Right now, I click on OK. Now, when I do that, you will get a column saying table, table, table. Do not worry, you are on the right track. What you need to do is click on the expand button and let the query ask the other table to give me information on customer name and amount paid. Both. We are in the table of amount due, but I want the information of amount paid along with the customer name. So I click on OK. Now you'll realize that for a lot of cases, g.r.finance, see, it's getting matched here. Or let's say, for example, Bharati versus Bharti. There's one letter A missing in the other name. The Mesur Paper Mills LTD, Mesur Mill Paper, it's getting matched. And towards the end, you will see there are four names which are probably not getting match. However, when I look at the data, I see there could be some data which relates to, let's say, leather industry. So what I might do is go to this query settings. This can be accessed from view tab, query settings. And within view tabs, query settings, when I activate that in the source, I will see the formula. You may not see the formula bar the first time, so you can activate from the view tabs formula bar. But if you do see that, I can reduce this threshold to let's say 0.6. Let's be a little less strict. And once I do that, I press enter. Towards the end, that is the expanded paid option. Let's see what other names exist, only two. Now I'm not saying this is 100% accurate because there's always an element of uncertainty everywhere, but it does give me a ready-made solution of all the matches, especially when the spellings are not matching. So what I would like to do from here now is, hey, file, close and load to only create a connection. Now, why am I doing that? Because I don't want to load all the three tables in my Excel. I only want the final outcome to be loaded in my Excel. So this queries and connections tab, data tab and click on queries and connection, you can activate that. And once you see that happening, you can right click on merge to say edit if you want to go to back to power query or you can say load to and load to where table. Okay. So you'll see this table coming up in Excel and any chances that the original data is getting changed, you can right click and say refresh. So this is how you create a reconciliation using power queries, merge queries, fuzzy merge, along with a full outer join concept. If you have watched the video till now, great. I know it's a 10 minute video and taking out 10 minutes from your regular schedule on a weekday could be difficult, but I'm really glad that you could watch and make sense from this video. However, if you really think this is relevant to all the people who you know, please put a comment below in the section so that the YouTube algorithm shows this video to maximum number of people so that they can benefit from this video. I'll see you in the next video. I'm Rishabh signing off.